23 years after the Rwandan genocide, the country and the people have continued to reiterate the message of never again should this happen to humanity. Miles away from the East African country, Hubert Humphrey Fellows from the Walter Conkite School of Mass Communication and Journalism, ESU, and University of California, Davis, joined fellows from Rwanda to commemorate the day. Claude Kavangera, Serafini Osenga, and Alice Kabeja reminisced over the incident that claimed about 1 million lives in 100 days. The genocide, also known as the genocide against the Tutsi, was a mass slaughter by the Hutu majority government against the Tutsi. It all ended when a heavily armed Rwanda Patriotic Front, RPF, led by Paul Kigame, who is now the president, took control. I was 15 years old, just running, <laughs> from one country to another country. So it was really, really hard. The internet may not be there, but what lies in our hearts is what's important and the way we spread the message to keep the people knowing that this is uh, a bad thing you know, to happen again. So. I remember I was five years old uh, when that thing happened. Uh, we couldn't find anything to eat with my parents. Seraphim talked about walking miles from Rwanda to Congo. We walked miles from Rwanda to Tanzania. So I think it's like two hours by plane flying from Rwanda to, uh, to Tanzania. So it was painful. They also talked about how they have been able to move on. Before genocide, some people couldn't attend schools. There was really a lot of discrimination. But now, for you can be hired for working because of your capacity, not because of, or, of your ethnic or your group. So, you are who you are because you are Rwanda, not because you are Hutu or you are Tutsi. A minute silence was held in honor of the departed souls on April 7, which is the day of remembrance set aside by the United Nations. Aditola Coyote reporting.